up you guys welcome back to my channel for today's video I have a super exciting video at least in my opinion I have a Shein haul for you this is my first ever time shopping on Shein Shein I will say I spent like at least a week picking out these things because there's so much stuff on there that I had no idea what to get it actually ended up taking me so long that my cart ended up deleting itself and I had to start over so that didn't help my case at all but I finally ended up with what I wanted and I am here to show you I do want to add that I'm actually really impressed with the shipping on the website it said it was supposed to get here by I think November 21st and I literally got it yesterday which was the 9th so can't be mad at that I also spent so much time just going through the reviews looking at the measurements measuring myself looking at the pictures like there's I've heard so many things about this website of just like read the reviews make sure it's what you think it is and so I did that I'm pretty small um, height and weight wise so I have a hard time fitting into a lot of things a lot of things end up being too baggy I'm gonna leave the links of everything I bought in the description with like the sizes that I got and like just my measurements just so you know but yeah let's just get started first we have these stacked necklaces I'm super excited about these actually I got them in gold obviously as you can see and they all came together and the thing that I like about them is that they're not all connected they're actually all separate necklaces so you can piece and pair them with other necklaces which I love because I found a quite a few cute necklaces on there but they were all one and I don't love that just because I like to be able to mix and match but then I found this one and I'm super happy about it moving on the next thing I got was something that was a little bit out of my comfort zone not necessarily but just not something that I've ever really bought before but it's just this earring that goes all the way up your ear and it does have like a normal um, like stud so you do have to have at least one piercing but then there's a cuff at the top to attach it to the top of your ear and I think that this is super pretty it actually came with two the other ones in my jewelry box but it came with two I don't think I would ever wear them both at the same time because I think that'd be a little bit overkill but to each their own I will say after trying it on though I wore it the other night for like a few hours it's like kind of painful to be honest uh, I don't know if that just is my ears or what but the clip part pinches quite hard it looks super cute so if you're up to like deal with the pain then it's worth it so the next thing I got, I had no idea that they even had until I watched a couple of people's like hauls and this one girl was talking about how they had nails, like press on nails, and I was like, that is right up my alley. So I'm glad I saw that before I checked out. So I went and I bought these nails right here. And they're not usually some like a style that I would wear either, but this was like my opportunity to kind of like branch out in my style a little bit and I really like them so I actually ended up putting them on last night and I'm not mad I'm honestly not mad about it they do show a little bit how like fake they are which I feel like with some press on nails you can get away with it and they don't look fake at all these I don't know if it's just because of the color or maybe just the way that I put them on I made it look bad but I don't know from like afar they look fantastic just don't like just don't look at them super close and they look great I'm into it and I think these were only like two bucks too so I will definitely be purchasing more nails from Shein next up not super interesting I did buy a pair of socks um, I'm actually wearing them right now I can't really lift my leg up but I'll show you and I just really wanted a pair of like longer white socks because I don't have any so that is all the explanation I have on that. They're actually really soft and really comfortable. They are probably like the thinnest pair of socks I have, but the material is really soft and so I'm not complaining really. And then moving on, in the same foot region, I bought these shoes that I'm honestly probably the most excited about out of everything I got. I wasn't planning to get shoes, but then I saw these. And I have been wanting to get a pair of Doc Martens for a very long time now but I have just heard from so many different people that like the process of breaking them in is really awful and that you get like blisters and stuff 
which I'm just like not really trying to deal with. I will eventually break down and buy some, but for now, I thought that these were like similar style, but like I love a platform because I'm only 5'2", so any height I can get is great. And I really liked the like pattern on it. And yeah, it's just like overall something that you can wear with anything. And they're actually pretty comfortable. I was really worried about the sizing, but I got these in a seven just because, I don't know, I was afraid that a seven and a half would be too big. And I'm glad I went with a seven because these are like actually perfect. So I'm super happy about that. Okay, so moving on to clothes now. The first clothing item I got was this like beige, I think it's called lettuce leaf neck, like kind of like a turtleneck tank top. And I've been wanting like a turtleneck tank top for a while now because I really love the look of a turtleneck, but I am somebody who sweats a lot and I don't like wearing long sleeves because it usually shows that I'm sweating and also because I'm just like uncomfortably hot. So I wanted the look of a turtleneck without having the sleeves, which this was perfect. I really, really wanted white. That was what I kept searching for, but everyone on there that I saw was like extremely see-through. So I decided to go with like a shade darker than that. And when I opened this, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, oh, I don't know, because it seems like it's the color of my skin and I didn't want it to just look like I was wearing nothing. But I honestly actually really like it. Um, the material's all right. It is a little bit see-through, but nothing like, nothing that I'm worried about. I just wore a nude bra with it and it seemed like pretty all right. And I plan on layering it anyways, cause it's almost winter anyways. But, um, but yeah. So with that, next I got this jean jacket. And this is probably my second favorite thing out of everything. I was so happy to find a jean jacket because I have been looking for a black jean jacket for like a little while now because I had one that I loved. And a uh, Super Bowl weekend I was in San Diego and I maybe drank a little bit too much and I lost it. I don't know where it is. I left it somewhere and I was so sad because it was like my favorite jacket, but now I have a replacement. So this is just an oversized black denim jacket. It has like a little bit of distressing at the bottom, which I like. Um, it's super like heavy, which I also like. I thought that maybe it would just be super thin and like, I don't know, it wasn't going to keep me warm by any means, but it's actually really thick material. And I do like that it's oversized because I don't, I, I kind of prefer things to be a little bit bigger just because that's my style. The pockets come sewn shut, so if you want to actually use them, you have to rip it open, which I did. I will say if there's one con or downside about this, it's not a big deal, but just the way that the buttons are, they don't feel like they're gonna fall off by any means, but they're also like not, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but they're not like super secure, so it's kind of loud. <laughs> like if you get what I mean. But it's not an issue, that would just be the only downside if I had to think of one. I'm super excited to wear this with like literally everything. Sticking with denim, I also got this pair of black denim jeans. And I will say, I was very back and forth about buying a pair of jeans. I knew I wanted to buy a pair of jeans really badly because I've also heard good things about their jeans, but it seemed like very slim to none chance that they would fit me. I looked at so many pictures and so many reviews of all the different types of jeans and all the girls that had like similar measurements to mine, it just looked so big and just, I don't know. There's a difference between like that boyfriend or like mom jean style and it just being like naturally baggy and then it just being too big altogether. And as you'll see in the video, they are a little bit big. They surprisingly fit my waist perfectly, but I think that they're designed for somebody with hips, which I have none. So they're a little bit baggy in the hip region and that also might be just because I have no butt too. So. If you have a butt, they'll probably look great on you. I'm working on it. But yeah, the length is good. I cuffed them a little bit. I prefer my jeans cuffed anyways, so that's fine with me. 
overall, I'm so happy that I got them. Like they fit me better than I expected. So that's good. And then I also do want to cut maybe like one or two cuts, probably at the knee, just because that's a style that I'm going for. Um, but I just wanted to show you them as is. Next up, I bought these sweat shorts. And I've just been really wanting a pair of sweat shorts to lounge around in because they look so comfortable. And I just love the like street style. If you like style them up with a pair of sneakers, I think it looks super cute and just super comfortable. Like who doesn't want to be comfortable and look good at the same time? But yeah, so I just got these. They have like a raw hem at the bottom and then they don't have any sort of like tie secure. It's just an elastic waistband. I was a little bit hesitant about getting these ones because they didn't have that and I wasn't sure if they were actually gonna fit me, but they fit perfectly. Overall, like I think they're super cute and they're super comfortable and that's all that I wanted. Oh, and they do have pockets, which is awesome. It's always a plus when something has pockets. And they're super deep pockets, I will say. Next up, I got this black t-shirt. Nothing super special, just a black t-shirt. I've been wanting one that's a little bit more baggy because I have a couple like tight, like cropped ones, but I didn't have one that was like specifically a little bit looser. So I just got this black one and it's a tiny bit see-through, but really I don't feel like when I'm wearing it, you can see through it. I think when I just like hold the material up to the light, it's not super thick. But that's okay too because then it's a little bit lighter and more breathable. I do also like the shape of the bottom, how it like comes up at the corners. I think that adds a nice little bit to it, makes it look a little feminine. And yeah, just a basic tee. Can't complain. I'm definitely going to wear this today. <laughs> Lastly, I bought this set. It is a cheetah print t-shirt that comes with matching cheetah print biker shorts. And this was actually super cheap. I was super surprised and I was worried that the quality was gonna be like actual shit, but it is not. It actually, the material feels pretty good. It's not see-through. I was shocked that the biker shorts aren't see-through. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would wear like super bright colored underwear with them because then it might not be see-through, but there is a very slim chance that I will ever wear these two things together, even though they're a set and they're meant to be that way, I guess, but my main reason for buying them was so that I could pair them with separate things because I thought on their own they were both super cute separately and like you'll see I paired them with different things and I think it looks super cute. I'm super happy with them and they both fit exactly how I wanted them to so that is great. I think when they're worn together they just look like pajamas and I wouldn't want to wear that out because it would just look like I'm in pajamas. But yeah, I'm like super late to the biker like game but I love it. I thought that it was like not cute at first and I don't know why I just was like yeah that's not it and then recently I tried them and I love it. It is so comfortable and I do actually think it looks cute like I don't know what I was thinking before but I've come around and I'm obsessed and yeah what's your opinion like let me know what you think about biker shorts I think it can go either way but I've come around and I actually really like them. All right, so that is everything I got. I'm super impressed, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I really like everything I got. I don't think I would return anything. If anything, like maybe next time I won't get an ear cuff, I'll just get like regular earrings. But other than that, I'm super happy with all my purchases. Like I said, I think my favorites are the shoes and the denim jacket and everything else is great too like I honestly don't have many complaints I think like everybody else said if you're trying to buy from there just look at all the reviews look at all the sizes especially like ideally in your size and that will really give you a good idea of what it's gonna look like and how it's gonna fit and I do feel like if you do stick to that you'll get a good outcome but yeah I'm so happy I didn't need any of these things but now I have them and I couldn't be happier about it that's just like the story of my life. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm sure I'll be filming more hauls in the future, uh, especially with Sheen because it's cheap and I'm happy with everything that I got. Stick around for more videos. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!